Hey Journey family, Pastor Steven here, and I'm coming to you today to give you an update on what we're doing regarding regathering. I know, it's been three months, we've been watching church online, we've been sheltering in place, and now we're beginning to come out of our homes, businesses are opening back up. I know there's some churches with buildings already regathering, even though they can only gather with 25% capacity. And from what I read in the news, every week, places are able to have more and more people in their building. And I wanted to let you know, I can't wait to get back to Goodman Center. I can't wait to get back to large gatherings with all of you, the Journey family. See, the church has never been closed. We stayed open, even though we were just streaming online we were still praying for each other, still being the church, reaching our community through Laundry Love and through our partnership with Second Harvest Food Bank. I want you to know that as soon as we can get back to the Goodman Center and have a great experience there, we're going to get back to the Goodman Center. But I also wanted to let you know that with COVID, everything has shifted. Things have really changed and really enabled us to rethink church. What I mean about rethinking church is not rethinking the people of God, but rethinking how do we gather? In what ways do we gather? In what ways do we grow together as a community and see God's kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven? How can we see the power and the presence of Jesus flow from us into our city? into our neighborhoods, to our homes. And so here's our plan for regathering. Number one, we are going to be streaming services online going forward. Number two, we will do large gatherings at Goodman Center and other places throughout the community. I don't know when we'll be back at Goodman Center, but I know we'll be back. I'm hoping for July, but who knows, right? Things are changing so often. So we're going to do weekly gatherings, both online and we're going to do in person. And those weekly gatherings, even before Goodman Center is open, we're doing Journey at Home, where you can open up your home and watch the service together and worship together and encourage one another and build each other up. And I encourage you. Talk to me about Journey at Home. If you're interested in attending my house for Journey at Home, if you're interested in launching your own Journey at Home, I would love to talk with you about that. You can email me, Stephen at journeymadison.com, and I would love to get a Journey at Home launched where you live. We have uh, three locations right now, and I know we're going to launch more uh, as the weeks uh, go on. We're also going to be uh, releasing, starting in July, we're going to start releasing daily content. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, uh, me and the rest of the staff have been working during uh, quarantine, during the time of COVID. We've been working on an app for the journey. So there's an app that's going to be released for the journey, and it's going to come sometime in July. I wish I had a firm date, uh, but we don't have a firm date yet on launch because we're still waiting for different approvals and things. Uh, but we've been in development, and it's incredible. You're going to love it. And it's going to enable us to stay connected with one another digitally and for our leaders and staff to begin releasing daily content and encouragement for all of us to be growing together. So we're going to have daily content. We're going to have weekly gatherings, both digitally but also in homes with Journey at Home. And we're going to do gather larger gatherings my plan for this summer is to have a worship night once a month this summer. So as we look at July and August, that's what I mean. We're not able to do it in June yet because buildings aren't quite open yet for big gatherings of over 100. Uh, so we're planning on July being our first time doing a large gathering. It's going to be a worship night. It's going to be incredible. I'm hoping to have baptisms that night and have people share their stories. You are not going to want to miss it. So stay tuned for the when the worship night is because, again, I'm still working on finding a location for us and, and making sure that it's going to be able to fit all of us with social distancing and things. Now, some of you may be thinking, why can't we just go back to Goodman Center? Well, right now, 
if we went back to Goodman Center, we could only be at twenty five percent capacity, so we wouldn't be able to fit everybody. And Goodman Center is being very careful about anybody who leases or rents their facility, and they would require us to do temperature checks, contact tracing. Everyone wears a mask. People would need gloves. Uh, you know the the restrictions on us gathering at Goodman Center right now would be very challenging for us to try to do a church community gathering. So what I'd like to do is is see the Goodman Center lessen some of their restrictions on what it would look like to gather as a large group so that when we get back, uh, we're not feeling like, wow, there's so many different restrictions just to meet together. When right now we can meet together in smaller groups and homes uh, without a lot of those restrictions. So uh, we got a lot of great things coming, and I encourage you, pray for me, pray for the church, pray for our church staff and our leaders as we navigate all of these different things going forward. The future is bright for God's kingdom. The future is bright for the gospel. We're reaching more people digitally than we've ever reached in history. The church, not just Journey, but the church but we're never going to get rid of the large gathering, the small gathering. We need person-to-person -person interaction. So don't ever think for a moment that I think the digital is going to replace in-person gathering. It's not. But I believe that our digital presence, our online services and worship nights and daily content, all these things coming is how people begin to enter the church, begin to engage with us as a community, and then come to a journey at home to meet us in person and become a part of our family and our community. So what are we doing? If someone asks you, man, what's your church doing for regathering? You tell them, we are gathering right now in small groups called Journey at Home throughout the community. And we've got more launching every week. We got large gatherings coming in July. We have daily content coming in July. We have an app that we're launching. We have uh, great things coming. Things I don't even know are going to happen this summer. Why do I not know it yet? Well, because honestly, we are living in a time where the future is just, we don't know what's going to happen. We can't predict. We never could, but even more so now, we just don't know what's going to happen next month. But I'm hopeful. Why? Because our God is on the throne. We talked this Sunday about our God being sovereign. Our God is a good God and he's sovereign, and he has never lost control of this situation, and he has great things for us. So again, if you want to launch Journey at Home, email me, stephen at journeymadison.com. If you want to attend my house for Journey at Home, I would love to have you at either the 9 or the 1030. Email me, stephen at journeymadison.com, and I would love to have you come to my house and experience church in, our, in a small church uh, at my house. There's also other Journey at Home sites and I would love to tell you about those if you just email me. Uh, we have an app launching. We have daily content coming. We have a monthly large gathering. We have the Goodman Center uh, soon. I don't know when. And there's things in development I can't even talk about yet. So I love you, church. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your faithful giving and generosity in this time. We are continuing to move forward and the future is bright for the Journey Church, the Journey family in Madison, Wisconsin. I love you. Again, if you have any questions, anything uh, you're, you're thinking about regarding the journey, things that you want to know, you can email me directly, stephen at journeymadison.com and I would love uh, to talk with you about that. So church, uh, be blessed. Have a great Wednesday. I'm going to enjoy this day. This is the last day of school for my boys. And so I'm having a great day with my boys, taking some time to really honor them as they went through uh, online school for three months. So love you, church. And I will see you on Sunday for online services at 9 and 1030.